Welcome back to the Venom Workshop. So today what I'm gonna show you how to do is how to remove <clears throat> the battery out of a, a Jeep, 125cc Jeep. Um, this is for the Canada model. Uh, the American model is a little bit different, but uh, I'm gonna do the Canadian model today and show you how to get the battery out of it. So uh, I'm just gonna get my camera in place and uh, our tools together, and I will be right back. Okay, so we're down on the, the right side of our Jeep, just above the rear tire, and our battery, you'll notice, is mounted right here. So I'm just gonna put a light up in here just so we can see what's going on. There we go. Okay, so all you're gonna need is, you're gonna need an eight mil socket like this and a 10 mil wrench. And if you notice right here, there's a bolt back there, that bolt is eight mil. So if I put my, my ratchet on it, I want it on loose and all because I'm not tightening it. And then your 10 mil has to go right on the back of that. There's a 10 mil nut. Don't worry about the wires. We'll take the wires off after. Screw that nut off the back of my fingers now. Nice. So we got that bolt out. Now when you take this bolt out, just put the nut back on it so you don't lose it. Just like that. And then <clears throat> we're gonna get the one off on the on the back on the other side. It's the same thing. Just put your wrench up, get it on the nut. Just like that. And we'll get our wrench in there or our socket in there. Be able to just pull this. Take the nuts off. Put the back. That's it. Nope. Just gotta come off a little bit more. I usually like doing that from the the back side like this. like that and that'll pull our holder off so the bracket that holds it in place now all you have to do is just grab the battery <clears throat> even if it does seem like it's a little bit tight you should be able to get your fingers in behind there and just wiggle it forward go and that's what you want you want it to actually pull forward and down like that and that 
is so that you can go ahead and remove your screws. that and put your screw right back in so you don't lose the little nut inside there or the screw and just like that and again remember put the nut right back in or the bolt right back in and that's it and you can pull your battery right out like this and you can take it and have it charged or get it tested or anything like that but that right there guys is how you remove the battery out of your jeep and it's literally the same thing as uh, installing it so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to reinstall it right now again start with your battery down there like that at the bottom Go ahead and we can put our ground cable on first. Just like that. Make sure when you're putting your wires on that you, you get both wires on. You can't just put one of them on. You need both of them on there. Like that. You want to make sure those are tight, not tight enough that you're snapping bolts off, but tight enough that it doesn't get loose while you're riding. Put the little covers back on. Flip your battery back up like that. There you go. And just give it a push back into place. And the bracket goes back on like that. And when you put the bracket on, make sure you don't pinch any wires when you put them bolts back in. Here's one of my bolts, I'll put it on the back side first. Now I'm gonna go back underneath or around the back so I can put my nut back on. And don't tighten that one just yet. Go ahead and get your other bolt. Put in in place, put the nut on the back of that. Just like that. Now, we can put our wrench back underneath. And make sure you get the wrench on the nut. So I'm on the nut right now. I can see that no wires are pinched back there. Again, with this one on this side. I don't usually take them with my left hand, but. There we go, and that's it. And that's how you uh, take out and put back in the battery on your Jeep 125cc.